Do you want to make a gift for a gamer friend or partner and you don't know what? Don't worry, in Solvers we have the solution! It's not my idea, I've seen them around and I think it's a fantastic idea because it's true that some people tend to hold cushions because you rest your hands on the cushion while playing and it's also true that your hands get really cold while playing because maybe you're warm but your hands are all there, bare hands on their own uh, while you play and you can't wear gloves because if not you can't feel the buttons and joysticks so I think a cushion with a sort of slip on top it's a fantastic idea. This cushion is the first uh, gift made by yourself of this month so let me know down in the comments if you usually do this, if you sew presents for people during this time of the year. I'm going to make the cushion from scratch, the cover and the filling. So for the cover you're going to need the material you like. I have this beautiful velvet, look how nice it looks, uh, from a headboard I made for my grandma's friend. And then for the inside you'll need some lining, some spare material you have. I have a cotton, but you can even use an old pillowcase you have, you're going to throw away. An invisible zipper and for the filling for, uh, I'm going to use some foam, pieces of foam I have. This is from the project I made for other cushions. It's the same thing, this bit, so I'll leave you the link as well. Or even some uh, baiting, some bathing that I use. I always, when I do something upholstery wise, I always keep all this bit. I know they are useless for anything bigger, but for this, for example, are quite good. And the cushion is going to measure 35 centimeters wide because it's the uh, zipper I have by 45 long. Why 45? I think it's it's like a, a rest uh, cushion for your back and I think it's nice because you can also rest your arms as well. That's the good thing about making it yourself from scratch because you can add more or less filling depending on your liking and the measurements you like. Let's do the filling bit quite fast. I have two rectangles of material, I'm going to sew together three sides of it so I can fill it in and then sew the remaining side by folding inside. When you realize you've been talking without the mic on. Oh. I was saying that this is the cushion, it's quite useful to have these bits of foam or leftover stuff from anything because you can make any cushion, any size and any shape you need for any occasion. So that's quite good and it's quite simple to do. And now for the cover I'm going to need the same, I'm going to do the same, but it has a slip like a kangaroo pocket on top so you can put your hands in and play games. And I'm going to make it, this is 35 by 50 centimeters, I'm going to make it 40 by 40 because it doesn't have to reach to the sides, to the edges and it needs to be a bit looser so you can put your hands in. So uh, I'm going to do that and I'm going to do it double because uh, that way I can hem it and you don't see any rough edges. For the cushion I'm going to need two pieces of material for the outside and one for the flap that I'm going to fold and sew and one secure to one of the sides I can sew all around it and add the zipper and that's it. Thank you. 
because velvet is so slippery I'm going to make sure I secure this extra piece of material so it doesn't move and I'm going to take advantage and move the seam a little bit so it is on the inside and you don't see it when it's right size out. Once I end the cushion together, I'm going to be really careful with this extra piece of material because it's looser than the rest. So I'm going to sew one side first and then move it a little bit and sew the other one so I don't top stitch all around it. And when putting it right sides out, be careful because you can, by mistake, put the wrong side of the kangaroo pocket out so you're seeing the seam. You don't want to see the seam, so make sure you put the right side out. I think I should have done the zipper first before doing the cushion but anyways I'm going to place the invisible zipper on top with the dents to the outside so I can sew inside with an invisible zipper foot of course I have two different invisible zipper foods, one is metal and the other one is plastic and today I reached for the plastic one, I saw it before I saw the other one and it worked better than the other one, it stayed in place because I always have the issue that the zipper moves and slips out of place and with this one it didn't and it was quite open, the zipper was, the dents were quite open so I could sew right inside and it looks quite invisible so I'm quite happy with that and to finish the two ends I'm going to do it with a normal zipper foot And this is the final cushion, I think it's quite good. I love the material, of course, it's velvet, it's quite cozy. And I think not only for gamers, but for people who like cuddling cushions at night, uh, they have their hands quite warm, quite cozy. So let me know down in the comments what you thought, if you're planning to make one of these and don't forget to subscribe if you've reached this far, I think it's because you like it, so subscribe because I upload a video once a week and give it a like as well, you can't imagine how uh, good a like is and how much I appreciate it. And I leave you other possible gifts for this time of the year if you're planning to make some. Bye! Ha <laughs>
When you realize you've been talking without the mic on. Oh.